Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in La Loma, which is like the capital of Lechon here in Metro Manila. So we are gonna be taking you on a food tour of La Loma. Of course, we're going to be trying lots of Lechon. You can see them all lined up beside me. This area is just packed full of Lechon. So we're here at Ryan's Lechon. We're gonna see how they're roasting them. They also serve some deep fried uh, innards, all kinds of different cuts of the lechon. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some lechon. So for the uninitiated, lechon is a suckling pig. Crispy skin, one of the most famous foods here in the Philippines. They've got four of them roasting here, so slow roasted, spinning on a spit over charcoal here at Ryan's. Three of them are already got nice and crispy. You can see they turn golden brown. This is like the ultimate Filipino food. Super crunchy, crispy skin. I can't wait to try it out. Whew, that is seriously hot from all that charcoal. So this is Ryan, the owner. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take you to cook one of the lechon? How many hours uh, do you? Uh, almost uh, three and a half hours. Yeah, so usually these are being sold for like weddings or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wedding, birthday. Birthday, and, uh, other, yeah, other yeah, celebrations, yeah. yeah. How many years have you been selling lechon? Uh, uh, since uh, 1990. 1990? Yeah, well, starting lechon. Wow, okay. But, but uh, the chicharon, crispy chicharon, we're starting in 1982. Oh, okay. So yeah. you've been selling chicharon for longer. Yeah. Okay, so you sell chicharon, lechon. Uh, and we uh, cook a pasion na lechon okay. and tinuguan. All right. That is our specialty. All right, I can't wait to try it out. Thanks yeah. for having us. So as Ryan was just telling me, they've been specializing in their chicharon for even longer, but this isn't the chicharon that I am used to, which is usually like the pork skin crackling fried. This is chicharon bulaklak. You can see it right here. It's really tight in here, but basically it's the pig's mesentery, which is a cut of the uh, organs. And then it's fried up super, super crispy. They've got it boiling, one pot of it boiling, and then one pot of it frying until it's super crunchy, crispy. That is the chicharon bulaklak. They call it like the flower because it sort of blooms up like a flower and also cooking right on charcoal. Super hot in here. Look at how just narrow this place is. All natural vinegar. Take a little dip, the bulaklak. A little chili in there too. I can feel it's gonna be super crunchy. Mm. Very good. It tastes really kind of fatty, oily on the inside. With the vinegar, awesome. The vinegar almost tastes like alcoholic. <laughs> I love vinegar here in the Philippines. That's so crunchy on the outside, but then really smooth, kind of oily on the inside. Yum. This Big is the intestines. intestines. Okay. Okay, so this is an, another type of, what did you call chicharron? Pitua. Pitua. So it's like the, the intestines, different cut. Again, got to go for the vinegar. Everything in the Philippines, you got to go for the vinegar. Oh, that one has like no soft bits at all. Crunchy the whole way through. Yum. That's delicious. This is salty and kind of like super crunchy, kind of melts in your mouth. And then the, the mesentery, the bulakmak, it's got like a oily kind of chewy layer on the inside. Yum, that's awesome. All right, we gotta try the lechon out next. So I've been served a massive plate of the lechon. There's two main cuts. It's gonna be the meat and then the beautiful, beautiful crispy skin. My favorite cut. Oh, and look at, they're giving me even more. Oh yes, please, more skin. And the lechon's actually stuffed with lemongrass while it's being roasted. And then I've also been given this, which is a liver pate sauce used with kind of like the drippings from roasting. But let's try out a piece of this beautiful skin first. Look at the bottom of that, you can see that beautiful oily layer of fat, the best part. Oh my God. Every time I come back to the Philippines, I am always looking forward to that crunch. That lechon skin is just to die for. It's got that layer of fat on the bottom, which is so oily, so juicy. And then you get that seriously crunchy. Like I can't describe how crunchy that is. You need to be careful you don't break a tooth on this stuff sometimes. It can be really, really crunchy. Okay, let's try up some of the meat. And I'm gonna go for a dip in this liver sauce, which is like vinegar, the liver, pate, and then the drippings from the, from the lechon. Mm. 
that sauce is sweet. And that meat is so tender and juicy. They really know how to roast a pig here in the Philippines. Like, damn, it's so good. Just look at the glisten of oil on that skin. It's so rich. It's got a deep red color. It's irresistible, to be honest. That pate liver sauce is really good too. It's got sweetness. But nothing beats that crunch. It is so hot here in Manila. Chowing down on lechon for breakfast in the heat. It's heavy. This is definitely one of the fattiest, oiliest lechons I've ever tried. I love it though. Oh, it's so juicy. And you can taste the smoke. Little hints of the lemongrass fragrance. It's all about that fatty, oily, rich, porky flavor though. Man, and the skin. Mm. I love how all these homemade vinegars in the Philippines, you'll find them in like an old Pepsi bottle or anything. In this case, it looks like an old, I don't know, Korean something, but that just means it's homemade with all those chilies in it. And that goes great too with the meat because it'll just cut right through that fatty oiliness. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that vinegar is like bordering on uh, vodka. Like I said, La Loma is known as the lechon capital of Metro Manila. I think that the capital of the Philippines when it comes to lechons probably got to be uh, Karkar or Cebu. The lechon flavors a little bit differently here. I find the skin might even be more crispy, it might even be more oily, but there might be less of the lemongrass, less of the filling flavor. And the pigs also seem quite smaller than the ones we were seeing in Cebu and Karkar, but still really good. If you're only in Manila and you want to have the best lechon, Check out La Loma, check out Ryan's shop, super friendly people. You can order up a whole lechon if you're having a celebration or just stop by for some of the chicharron or a plate of the lechon. Oh, you won't be disappointed. Just jumped on the back of a bike, heading to our next spot here in La Loma. That's enough lechon for now. We're heading for Pares, another very famous Filipino food. If I make it there, I am barely balancing on this thing. <laughs> survived the motorcycle ride and I've come to the original Paras House, Mami's Paras House. And it kind of reminds me of like a diner, the way they've got it all red and white. And it's also kind of outdoors. So it's like half street food, half diner style, but let's go order up some Paras. Special guest appearance by Miss Foodie Mama. It's safe to say most of the time if I'm in the Philippines, she's either on camera or off camera with us. <laughs> so we're here at Mami Paras House. Pares Retiro. Retiro, okay. And uh, they're famous for their paras, which is this here, the beef stew. So this is like slow, slow cooked beef, right? Yep. And like a thick uh, sauce here, sweet sauce. And then it's served with rice. And what is that on top of the rice there? Garlic. Oh, fried garlic. Fried garlic, yeah. Okay, fried garlic rice, and then a little bit of uh, soup. beef soup, probably. Beef soup, yeah. yeah, and then this is the sauce, which is like a chili with chili sauce. calamansi chili. or... Yeah, and uh, all right, this looks amazing. This is one of my favorite dishes in the Philippines, so let's dig in. Get a good piece of beef here, lots of sauce, put it on my garlic rice, a little bit of extra sauce, and then maybe some of this here, the chili with calamansi. Oh, man. That's so good, oh my God. Actually, ours might be my favorite Filipino food. It's so good. That beef just completely melted in your mouth. It's sweet sauce, but then you get that spicy chili with a little bit of sourness from the galamansi and then crunchy with the garlic. And then you take a sip of the soup. Oh, take a sip of the soup, yeah. Can't forget. Oh yeah, soup is nice and salty. That's the perfect combo. Oh yeah, yeah, that is the perfect combination. Just look at this beautiful, beautiful beef in here. Oh. Yeah, that is perfect. It's so good. Uh, they're open 24 by 7 daily, and they've been around since uh, I think 38 years ago. 24 7. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, no problem. Like after a late night party, drinking, oh, yeah. you know, you would eat this. It just goes down so easy. It's got a beautiful sweetness to it. I don't know if it's just mm. sugar in there or it's like cane sugar or. White or brown sugar? Brown sugar, yeah. Soy sauce, yeah. there's star anise, 
Yeah, yeah, it's almost got like a Chinese, a little yeah. bit Chinese influence flavor with the star anise too. And then this sauce too, this calamansi with the chili oil, it's got a kick. I mean, Filipinos are not necessarily known for loving the spicy food, but well, that's that's kind of spicy. Yeah, that's always uh, that's why it's always on the side. Yeah. Getting every last drop of this paras, and I love the sauce too. That calamansi, it's got a really strong orange flavor. Some calamansi taste more like lime, but this one's tasting more like orange. It's such a fruity, citrusy flavor. Oh man. So satisfying. It tastes so home cooked. And what an atmosphere too. This really cool kind of diner on the side of the road. I love it. Very authentic. Yum. Really delicious powder. I saw a man that hit the spot. I love that. Yeah, that's I think that's my favorite Filipino food. Oh, in the salt chicken, also very, very good in bacala, but that is awesome. So now we're heading for a little dessert. There's a donut shop down the street, so let's go try it out. Manila is one of those cities that just goes on and on and on. It's so expansive. I've never been to this area before today, La Loma. It's got more of a neighborhood feel, but still, you know, a little chaotic. It is just so damn hot here in Manila though. Oh my gosh. We've just arrived to Lunar's Bakery since 1988. They're famous for their donuts. So we're gonna order up some, some fresh donuts. So the donuts we're having today are called Mojaco Donuts. It's the customers who actually uh, said those names because it kind of resembles the street style or Calle Donuts like the like in the past. So what is Mojaco? I don't, I don't know. They just, it's just a name? I haven't had it also. Okay. It's my first time having it okay. today. Good. We really can try curious. it together. So we're in the back kitchen here. They are making the donuts fresh. These guys are super, super fast. So they've got a machine that's mixing up the dough. Once the dough's mixed up, he's kind of just breaking it into the preferred size and then rolling them around. Give it a little pinch in the middle. Simple, next they're gonna get fried. But wow, these guys are just working at lightning speed. That's a ton of donuts. Okay, we figured it out. What, why is it called Mojako? So I think it's the Japanese TV series, Mojako. He's round and the donuts are round and colorful. He looks like a donut. Mojako. He does kind of look like the donut. So they've got two big pots of oil out here that they're frying the donuts in. Doesn't take long, they fluff right up, golden crispy, and then they're taken inside and covered with a mixture of powdered sugar and powdered milk. So it's time to try them out fresh, hot out of the fryer. They look so good and they are cooking so many of these donuts, it's crazy. So one more important step, 
after they're covered in the sugar milk mixture, they are stuffed full, injected full of filling. So they have like strawberry, matcha, ube, mango, all kinds of different flavors. They're really colorful and that's gonna add a lot of flavor. Look at how colorful and beautiful this is. We've got so many different flavors here. So there's strawberry, matcha, ube, mango. This is jackfruit. This is like a caramel. This one's chocolate and they call this one Bavarian. It's like cream. I think I gotta go for the ube because that's just so typical Filipino. I'm gonna try that first. Oh yeah. All over my face. Man, that is a really good donut. Oh my gosh. It's not like crispy. It's just really, really fluffy and that ube flavor. Oh my God. That is so good, yum. Okay, next up I'm gonna try this one. It's called Yemma and it's kind of like a egg based sort of caramel. Let's try it out. Oh my God. That was so good. Wow. I could sit here and eat this whole box. You're gonna have to take this away from me. Filling is nice and hot still. It's creamy. You get that sugar exterior coating. Oh, those are irresistible. I love the filling. It's so good. This one is interesting. It's jackfruit. Mm-hmm. Wow. It tastes just like jackfruit. That's amazing. It's like jackfruit pudding on top of a donut. Oh my God, I really good too. That one has a little bit of a citrusy sweetness. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sugar overload here. Okay, last one, because I'm literally about to OD on sugar right here. Donut overload, this is chocolate. Another popular seller. Mm -hmm. It's just so fluffy, like the, the donut is really, really fluffy. It's not quite like a, another donut that I've had. And having this fresh out of the fryer, is definitely the way to go. That filling just brings it all together. Adds a lot of flavor, sweetness. Mm. Sweet, soft, milky. Woo, so good and hot. So this is Lunar's Mojaco Donuts, the original spot and the owner here is so friendly. She gave us two boxes of their famous uh, pork buns and then not two, but five boxes of the Mochaco Donuts. Oh man, and it's just started to rain out. So we're gonna head to our next spot now. Let's go. So this is our next stop. It's called Monchi's Lechon. We are not here to try their famous lechon, but instead we're here to try their charcoal grilled lechon innards. So nothing goes to waste here in Thailand. Nose to tail dining, we are eating it all. So we're gonna try some of their famous grilled intestines and uh, liver, all kinds of different cuts from the inside. But they've also got tons of lechon, which are selling like crazy. They're just shipping them out on the scooters here in the rain it never stops. So they've got the grill going. There are so many different cuts of meat and it is really popular. They've got tons of customers coming in real early. They start grilling it at 3 p.m. So you gotta get here quick if you want some. And it is seriously smoky because it's all charcoal. You can see all the different cuts. I see liver and heart and intestines. They also have a cut of the back of the neck, the lechon neck, which we ordered. So that's gonna be really, really good. God, it's so, so smoky. So he's using a knife to kind of slice open some of the thicker cuts, make sure it all cooks evenly. I am getting a smoke bath of lechon innards right now. He's also got a paintbrush and a bucket full of, you guessed it, vinegar that he is rubbing all of the innards and the meat with. 
give it that Filipino flair. So for all the leftover lechon parts, we make it into another dish that we call lechon paksiu. So we put liver sauce to it and add vinegar to prolong its shelf life. But to be honest, it's not gonna last long because it's good with rice. This is the real deal. This is some hardcore Filipino street food. This place is crazy and it's selling out within minutes. They're almost done already and it's only been open for maybe 10 minutes. They've sold tons of this stuff and they're just grilling away. Filipinos know how to work our grill. These guys are masters. Okay, we've got our bag of grilled meats. Look at the size of this bag. I think we ordered up six different cuts. This one is the heart, we believe. I've got a bag of full of vinegar. How should I do this? So you take a bite and then you sip from the... Drink the vinegar? All right. Mm. Oh my God. That is really good. Super smoky and they've got like a sweet marinade on it too. Actually, that has no like inner taste at all. I'm actually a big fan of heart. If any of the intestines or innards, intestines, liver, anything, I go for the heart. Oh man, this is really good actually. I can see why all the locals are lined up. With that vinegar, there's gotta be garlic in there. Man, actually, really, really good. All right, it's like a mystery bag. You don't know what you're gonna get. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> look at this. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! All right, we've got the small intestine. You want first? Huh? Go ahead. I'll take a bite. <laughs> that is a massive intestine. Wow. <laughs> mm, can you take that? Hold it. <laughs> a little vinegar. Mm. That one's chewy. A little bit bitter. Yeah, some creaminess in there, which is a little bit concerning. I could drink this whole thing of vinegar, seriously. Whatever they marinated in kind of caramelizes up once it's been grilled. And you can see sliced into this. This is the, the back of the neck. Let's try that. Mm. Oh my God. It's delicious. <laughs> Just sucking the vinegar out of the bag. Actually, this is so, so good. That sauce that they've got it marinating in is phenomenal. A little bit sweet. Just so you guys know, I'm not uh, I'm not weird sucking the vinegar out of the bag. This is a real Filipino doing it right here. So refreshing. This is the way to do it. <laughs> you guys just drink this like water here? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, <laughs> this is the liver. Holy Woo. crap, that's a huge liver. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the thickness of that piece of liver. Oh my lord, that looks so juicy too. I'm usually not a big fan of the liver. Try it though. Like I said, everything tastes good with vinegar. <laughs> I think I gotta go for the heart, give it up for the heart, and give it up for the, the back of the neck. This is a little gamey. This is one of the smokiest grills I've ever seen in my life. We are like smoked out. We almost suffocated just eating the food beside the grill. But uh, really good. I loved it. Especially that heart, it's amazing. Huge thank you to Key. Check out her channel, Foodie Mom PH. Links down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye. Don't get hit by a jeepney.